Let's talk about Star Wars Episode Nine: The Rise of Skywalker Force FX lightsabers. So a Force FX lightsaber is an officially licensed lightsaber that has a metal hilt and it lights up and it makes sound. And it's a little bit of a higher end item. It's targeting adults, you know, but certainly a lot of kids will end up getting them too. Uh, but they are kind of recommended for adults and they're also not for dueling so they're really even though they light up and make sound and they can handle a little bit of contact but they're not intended for heavy dueling but they are very popular a lot of people their first lightsaber will be a force effects lightsaber like this one this is a kylo ren force effects lightsaber but um you know getting back to the topic at hand so when will hasbro make force effects lightsabers for episode nine hilts now we currently don't know that it's either going to be before you know the movie comes out or after and um, either one of those is really equally likely to be honest so we did get a big release of force fx lightsabers earlier in the year in january um, hasbro released some new kind of prequel trilogy lightsabers and those are pretty popular so the prequel trilogy just turned 20 this year and that's why um, Hasbro decided to release these new lightsabers kind of in honor of the 20th anniversary of the prequels. So that, that's a pretty big deal to release um, several lightsabers for that reason. And um, as far as episode 9 lightsabers go, I mean, Hasbro probably will release them at some point. But again, you know, it might be before, it might be after the movie comes out. Now, we have to talk about also which lightsabers Hasbro may decide to make into Force FX lightsabers. And currently, we have maybe two possible candidates that we're aware of. So one of them is the repaired Graflex lightsaber. So in the initial teaser trailer for Star Wars Episode Nine, we see Rey wielding a repaired Graflex or Skywalker lightsaber, Rey's lightsaber, whatever you want to call it. Now at the end of The Last Jedi, things looked pretty bleak for that lightsaber. It had been kind of broken in two, but in some of the footage of Episode Nine, it appears that it's repaired. And so it's possible that Hasbro would release a Force FX version of that. And it would be pretty simple for them to probably make that. They can just use the existing kind of Skywalker lightsaber that they have, the existing Ray lightsaber, and just modify some of those pieces slightly in order to make this kind of newer version of it. Now, another possible lightsaber that could be made into a Force FX lightsaber from Episode 9, that would be this new lightsaber. We just saw it for the first time a few days ago. It's the collapsible double-bladed lightsaber with red blades that, you know, it appears that Rey is wielding this new lightsaber. So, um, although a lot of people are talking about that, is it Rey? Is it really another character? We'll find out eventually. Um, but anyway, that's another possible candidate for a new Force FX lightsaber. But there are a few reasons why we may not see that collapsible double-bladed lightsaber, though, as a Force FX lightsaber. One reason could be that the scene with the lightsaber is actually very small. Like, maybe we saw the scene where, you know, that's the only place in the movie where that lightsaber is used. So it seems like a lot of times when Hasbro makes these Force FX lightsabers, they're based on major lightsabers in the movie. So as cool as this lightsaber is, if it's just on screen for a very short time, that could be a reason we wouldn't see it as a Force FX lightsaber. I would compare that to in Star Wars The Last Jedi, we see the Ben Solo lightsaber, and although it's popular with a lot of fans, we, we only see it briefly, and instead we have the Kylo Ren lightsaber right here made into a Force FX lightsaber. So that could be one reason. Another reason we may not see it is just logistically it's a bit trickier to make uh, that lightsaber. It has that collapsible element to it, and so they might just say, hey, we don't want to make this kind of trickier lightsaber. Um, but another possibility, another way they could end up making that lightsaber, though, is just sell it as kind of a single-bladed hilt, which, I mean, Hasbro will do that with different lightsabers. Like the Darth Maul lightsaber, for example, you buy as a single-bladed hilt, and then you can use a coupler to connect them together and create the double-bladed one. Um, but that helps keep the cost more reasonable and kind of more on par with the other Force FX lightsabers. But just the logistics of this collapsible lightsaber, it might be a little bit trickier. So that may be a reason they wouldn't make it, but 
Um, I think it's more likely they would make it if this turns out to be a very small lightsaber in the movie, though. Um, there could be plenty of other new lightsabers in the movie that we just don't know about yet. So Kylo Ren could have some type of new lightsaber if he turns back to the light side. The nice Ren could have lightsabers. Some other characters could have lightsabers that we don't know about. All of these would be great Force effects lightsabers, so we'll have to see. What do you think will be the new Force FX lightsabers, and what do you think about the new collapsible hilt design of the uh, supposedly Ray double-bladed lightsaber? Feel free to comment below.